Yo inakuwa je tuongo nguvu mimi ni presenter Ali your entertainment PA the air is always for amazing tuko kwenye uh, event ambayo ndani yake kuna Eric Mondi amefika kuwakilisha of course kama kama amepiga drip moja ya tari inakuwaje mzee niko salama bro uko vipi lakini niko poa kwanza uh, hmm. nizungumzie tu i look kidogo eh juzi tumeona kidogo umekosana na style sijui umerudiana akakujenga um, ama hatujarudiana tuliko sana eh, eh. So, lakini ndio kukubalisha anaitwa pop eh pop and disputed. Kuna wakati tulikuwa tunafanya show na Beti Chalo kwenye KTN. Unakumbuka? Mm-hmm. Kuna wale mtu alikuwa anatuvalisha ile show tulifanya wiki mbili. Unakumbuka? Watu wanakumbuka tu dresses zetu. <laughs> and the undisputed. No. Pop and pop. Pop and disputed man. Mm-hmm. Kisha kuna bibi yake anaitwa the undisputed woman na nashonea wanawake. Kwa hivyo leo. Kwa hivyo ndo Freedom bro. Freedom tu yani. Msanii kwa kujukua ni pale lazima ukue. Usishikwe na nguo ama vya kiatu na kufinya ili kuiruka unaruka. Ukipiga soma sort napiga. Kama leo tumekuja na mbwembwe. So iko ni freedom tu. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you feel know, free. Yeah, of course kabla tuongelee hii event mm. jana kuna 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 production tu zimetokea mahali mmepigwa tia gasi na nini. Mm. Pengine what what exactly happened there? A lot of things happened. Pale ilikuwa ni party bro. Mm-hmm. Watu wamefurahia, watu wamelewa. Club ndogo. Wanataka mm-hmm. kuna tofauti ya ini ini concert mm-hmm. ama ini event. Mm-hmm. Wa Kenya lazima waelewe the difference between club appearance mm-hmm. more technical appearance ama meet and greet ama after party kama leo tuko na ingine pale na monaise mm-hmm. ule kokorino mm-hmm. tukitoka hapa mm-hmm. ile inaitwa after party msanii amekuja kutulia tu yeah yeah kisha hata nimeona kidogo ameandika hapa anasema oh at 1 minute and 23 seconds mm-hmm. he's not supposed to perform bro a monaise is coming to perform at KCC pale ameenda wa Kenya tu tuelewe mm-hmm. ni kiingereza tu Yeah, yeah, lakini ukiangalia kikweli watu walikuwa mm. melipa Wana... karibu karibu 5000 kuja ku appearance tu nataka kuniambia. Sawa, unaweza talipa 1 million bro. Walisema hawakuelezwa kwa ilifaa kwa appearance. Na nani? Posta ilikuwa imeeleza. Ha? Posta ilikuwa imeeleza. Posta ipi? So, Kulikuwa na posta. Mimi nilika video jana na mwanadamu nikasema let's party tonight. Let's party tonight. Ya, yeah, ulisikia nikisema pay 5000. Ama pay 1000 ila ila tunajua tunajifanya tujui kama kuna ile wimbo wa, wanasema anga wanajua ni kulenga ni kulenga unajua club appearance ni nini inafanyika dunia nzima bana hata hata America hata it's it's club appearance si David wanaenda hapa ni nini big club kila saa sivyo uh, so hiyo kitu wale watu kisha wakadimanda mnaweza perform hi fi amnaweza kapanda pale akapiga akapiga aka uh, amiwa teacher akaimba wimbo wengine kapela akapiga wimbo wengine tosha mm-hmm. event kwa hapa kule ni club appearance hata leo tuko na moja hata kesho tuko Mombasa volume mm-hmm. mamnoza kuna club appearance leo appearance hata shiki mike juu yetu tulitendeka jana tumwambia club the artist will not that will sit down and enjoy unless at will amnoza akisikia mbwembe kidogo aseme anataka kubariki wale wako pale at aelezewi cha kufanya. Mm-hmm. Yeye ndo anasema nataka hii nataka hii. Mm-hmm. So anafanya leo, anafanya kesho Mombasa kule volume, anafanya Monday tuko tena pale at 33 heaven. So tuelewe kwa wale wanakuja leo Kokoriko na wale wanakuja kesho volume. Na wale wanakuja 33 heaven. It's a club appearance. Ukitaka okay, kuona mnaweza kiperform ni hapa sasa even the next one hour. Okay na you should have talked up. Yeah, na baada ya hapo pia inaonekana kama ili affect mood yake pia kwa sababu pia yes, interview sana. yake pale kwenye tena kwa tena watu walilalamika. Sana tumemtesa harmonize Kenya sana. Kutoka airport tumemtesa kila mahali. Eh, kijana wetu ayupo sana. Tesa kivipi? Maana kama sasa jana bro anafika pale. Eh anapigwa ana, paka anauliza nini anaendelea anamwambia hawa wamelipa chelewa so I, na, na, i feel the i feel the fans yeah mm-hmm. but i feel i'm more because he's a fellow artist pale kumekuwa vurugu gari yake imepigwa chupa zimepasuka zote vio mimi nimelala kule nilikuwa na nimetoka pale na jua bro na polisi wamesimama hivi na gang juu watu wanangoja nitoke wanisijua nifanye nini so pia ni muhimu for the future 
ya ya yeah? yeah? for the future tutatoka hapa bien na sauti sol ama calligraph atenda Tanzania tusipeleke ushamba huo ya yeah? tujue na naomba wa mashabik wata hiyo kitu ina trend ina trend Tanzania diamond anaiona nandi anaiona wizi kidi anaiona wataogopa wanaona so akija hapa na hiyo hao ni wasanii wanaongea sema my brother Kenya you know inaniharibia mimi pia jina umeelewa mm. So mimi maiko nifurahisha maana yake. Ni mambo kubwa mapologize yamo na sijui tangu asubuhi. Hapa alipigwa nchupa hapa. Chupa nini walimwagiwa pombe wakiwa na huyu kwa nini kwa macho bro. Akiperform. So mashabiki wa Kenya tunaomba please tuelewe msanii akija Kenya amekuja kufanya nini? Kuna ule amekuja kufanya collabo. Kuna ule amekuja holiday, kuna ule amekuja concert, kuna ule amekuja club appearance, kuna ule sasa tumpe hiyo space yake. Yeah. Hata Nandis nimesikia huko. Mm, yeah. hey, so huyo amenaza kuwafanyia collab na wasanii kama watatu. Hata Simple Boy, hata Willy Paul. Jamaa yupo sawa. Hayupo mm -hmm. sawa. Okay, so what do you think it was supposed to be done ili ile ile kitu isitokee tena? I will event organizers. Event organizers communicate to people. And uh, fans or Kenyans know these are common sense things. Ukiona okay, whiskey dana kuja big club. Elewa mapema. Hakuta kuwa na dancers, hakuta kuwa na performance. Hakuta kuwa na ni meet and greet. Ushaelewa. Mtapiga picha pengine. Lakini usikuje na ile expectation ya ya kwa nini whiskey dana perform? Yeye ndio alikuwa shida jana. Yeah. Walikuwa pale wamezibwa wame nasema mpaka amonaza perform. Eric, tumekuona ukishika sana mkono harmonize akiwa hapa Kenya and lately uko na advocate sana sana wasanii wa Kenya wa perform wakiwa wa mwisho. Siku ya leo harmonize na una perform wa mwisho ama ni msanii wa hapa Kenya? Wasanii wa Kenya wako wapi? Hata nikitaka wa perform wa kwanza. Wako wapi kusema ukweli ya? Uh, hii event tunafanya na Africa moja. It's the first edition. We will do it every year. Hata hapo hivi amenipigia kaniambia event watu hawa wako. Nikamwambia ni sawa tu. Every every year we bring one big artist. This is just in, in a test run, yeah? trying to bring Africa together. Yeah? Now, I'm going to start with Kenya. I mean, I'm going to say play 75% Kenya. I'm going to push Kenya. I love to have Africa more than the calligraph. I'm going to get to talk about Tanzania. I'm going to kill it to Kenya. Kenya. I'm going to say, I'm going to start with Kenya. Next one, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to pengine mm -hmm. eh, ila, ila events yangu mimi nili I was contracted to MC and the market mm -hmm. and uh, in market queen inapiga kelele inapiga kelele okay. eh, so wenye wenye event wanaitwa melamani melamani okay mm. pengine show inaanza saa ngapi because right now it's almost 10 pm mm. na bado haijaanza so itaanza officially nikitoka hapa naenda kupanda ile stage naanza kuchekesha watu kidogo ni wapatie program uh, love tuanze sherehe yeah. tuko na harmonize tuko na leo kuna msapere they tried getting like na samido i think leo wako kitengela ku get to make we get so i think the owners of the event wanted that, 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 that we are we are trying to get the word africa yeah so they are trying to something different you tumekuwa juzi na sio nyashinski even zote zimekuwa na the same lineup hata ya buju ya leo ilikuwa na ya otile calligraph so we wanted to try something new to kuwa na contemporary ambao naweza have to kuwa na kwa na wasapere kidogo ili pia i don't know how it will go but tutaona the feel of the event then i will know what to do in the future wewe umekuja leo niko sure kabla ufikie hapo umeona pengine turn up ilivyo unahisi kwamba imekuwa affected na ile issue ya jana alafu pia what would you say about it nimeona nimeona watu waki watu watu wame dm nimeona kwa blogs wanasema to cancel event kwa sababu ya president kibaki alafu pia kwenye atmosphere industry melala si Kenya tu Tanzania hata Nigeria Kenya melala sana ila it's not in the air so hata hii is very much expected uh, kuna hiyo muda unafika haina mbwembwe ushaelewa alafu tena ikahappen Kenya 
kumekuwa na hiyo the kumekuwa na ha <laughs> To add up on what Ali is saying, last time we had a show in Naivasha, it was supposed, uh, we had Harmonize, Ali Kiba, and unfortunately the turn up Aikua Vizuri. And today, unfortunately, you're also having Harmonize for the second time in the same country, the turn up here Aikua Vizuri. Ukidhani we kama Rafiki wa Harmonize, ataichukulia VP. Harmonize msani, Harmonize ame performia watu, kuna mungina walifanya dodomo, alikuwa na watu 30,000. I'm not going to form here. I'm sure I'm going to form here. I'm going to form here. So I'm going to do it. 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 I'm going to do Nisani kubwa hata hata shtuka hata kidogo ya hata shtuka yes bro a mimi wengi na rafiki wangu lakini nitakwambia na ndarudia waache kabisa unaona event venye iko haina watu unaona industry venye iko Oh my god, Uruki Nata kifanya comedy. Oh my Raila kienda studio. They are politicians, bro. That's how God has structured us. You are a reporter, bro. You ni gift mepewa. Hii industry mekufa juu ya hiyo puzi ya hawa watu kukimbia kwa ile nyumba kutafuta hela bwana. Na wewe unajua mimi najua hivi najua unajua bro. It is not your calling. So Jalango ndio mtu wa Meriz. Wewe unajua kitu Jalango amefanya na masauti na hiyo ta Jalango yake TV si kama bado iko. Amejaribu kivi yake kuinua talanta. So sisi tunataka tu mtu mmoja pale ndani. Mmoja tu, sio wawili. Na Jalango ametosha wengine warudi waimbe. Umeona bro? Hiyo industry sasa mkienda kule mna hepa shida. Tukae hapa pamoja na tujenge industry. So mimi I will not support I will fight it. They are my friends I want to mention their names you know them. Hata Mungu pia ashafanya kazi yake. Sio unajua? Eh Mungu ashafanya job yake. No, we didn't. Uh, we, we, yeah, I, I, I took. I, we didn't do the best. The best we could. Uh, Even like what happened 2020. Took a quarter. Took a quarter. I'm not going to leave. Corona like happened. Sasa kia ICC walikuwa shalipo. Kase ma, you can do it. I think we also kind of. Took a shalipo like that. Took a say ma. Let's get over and done with it. So I admit that. I took a little page. Iangu pia. You pia na admit. Atuja. You say zini koko a break. Mm. And I was, I was to ask you okay, I'm going to to Tanzania and I'm clip to harmonize. I'm going to do The next clip is going to be So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm break. So I'm going to confusion. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going break. I'm going to do the whole Kenyan industry is coming in your mouth. Eric Mondi, I'm in the bro. New Quilly, bro. To be a new Quilly, let's talk in black and white. Eric Mondi, I can't even find a quiet industry, bro. Huh? Apart from show and the shins. Huh? Apart from your shows, yeah. Apart from uh, Shin City. Yeah. And it's going to get worse. You mean me? I'm, after the event, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, and I'll remind you. Uh, two months is April, June. Three months, July. I mean, i August. You will see Ali. Without Eric Omondi, there is no entertainment or entertainment industry in Kenya. And see Utani, and they know, and you know, right now, since Shin City, is the, there's the next thing happening. At Abuja, we I don't know why. Yeah, without Eric Omondi, me watu na sema na sema na jigamba, so kujigamba na sema ukweli. Eric Omondi akemo kunya mazaleo. The whole industry. Hamna chochote. Okay, Eric, you have a show in May in Egypt and you're saying that you're going for a three months break. Utai market kivipi? Show angu wa Egypt. Uh, Sini tu kui market. Pia ni show pia. Kuna show ya Qatar na Egypt na Dubai. Zilikuwa pia ziko cancelled. So kundinize show za watu wakona tiketi zao. So I just need to mention the dates and niko show atuta itakuwa sawa. Ni sawa mamaya. Some time back, hmm. kuna msa lisea makua. Hmm. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's not the, the break is entirely for Eric Omondi. Eric Omondi has been on it 
day in and day out. I have evidence. If you go to my page, there is no single, not week, no single day that I'm not working to entertain or to fight for someone. Every, go to my Instagram. Yeah. Every day since November 17, 2020. Every, so every week. Every, at a Sunday, every day, kuna kitu nafanya. Ama ni kwa parliament, ama ni menda Uganda, na ni vitu kubwa kubwa, ama na pigania wa sani. So, mi na chukua break. Na hii break ni very dangerous. Mi kuna say, mi usema, when the recommend is quiet, be very worried. And I'm going to be quiet for three months. And then she asema, ni kukua kwa nini? To strategize on how and the, the future of East African entertainment. Ni mejaribu, hii ya imekata. Ni mekuja parliament, inaendana na kata. Tumefight na mtu wakatoka, bado ISID. KFC bisa, yani hakuna kitu na work. So mipia na step back. Na chukua three months ku, ku strategize on when nikirudi. Ni nini nitafanya ni yakikishe watu wasiseme ni recommend tu. Uh, so so that's what, that's what I'm doing. Okay, yes. uh, asante sana recommend. Pengine uzungumze tu na watu ambao wako nyumbani na mm -hmm. bado hawajashawishika kwamba wanafaa kuja. Just talk to them tukimaliza. Guys, if you are out there, maze it's a holiday, come let's party. Maze leo tutakaa hapa mpaka jua iwake. So ni mapema show ijaanza bado. Ndio nimefika, mwanaweza hajafika ndio na wasanii hawajafika. So alafu uh, kesho hakuna job. Yeah. Alafu Monday hakuna job. Alafu Tuesday hakuna job. Sasa kama uki watch uh, presenter Ali na uko naivasha, ondoka oga njoo to dance, sivyo? Eh, kama uko Mombasa na kuna ndege njoo utatupata, sivyo? Haina shida. Asante sana. Asante sana. Okay.